Hey guys, it's Andy here, and we are back looking at Kitchen Table Magic. This is a Squirrel deck. I wasn't the one that actually owned this in paper, but it was probably one of my most hated decks to play against. Basically just a super aggressive go wide strategy that could go off really, really early in the game. So let's talk about the creatures. We've got a four of Nut Collector, which is for six, five, and a green. It's a one, one Druid. With at the beginning of your upkeep, you may put a one, one green Squirrel creature token into play and a threshold all squirrels get plus two plus two. The threshold is if you have seven or more cards in your graveyard. When you do, your squirrels get plus two as an anthem effect, and you get a squirrel at every turn. At a six cost, it's a one one is a very, very bad creature. But yeah, the synergy in the deck's just crazy. It's de definitely worth run running for what the deck was. Four copies of Deranged Hermit for five, three, and two green. Again, it's a one one. Uh, summon Elf with Echo. So during your upkeep, after the turn it's played, you have to pay its casting cost again, or you sacrifice it. But when it comes into play, you get four 1-1 one, one green squirrel creature tokens. And it also gives all squirrels plus one plus one. Again, adding to the Anthem effects, like the Nut Collector, uh, Deranged Hermit, a little bit cheaper. Again, a 1-1, one, one, so it dies really easily. But the synergy for what it is is insane. A four of Squirrel Mob, which is a three, one, and two green. It's a 2-2 two, two squirrel, with Squirrel Mob gets plus one plus one for each other squirrel in play. So obviously, if we have a lot of squirrels in play, this can be really, really big, uh, fairly effortlessly. And with the ability to abuse the squirrel tokens in the deck, it ended up being an absolute nightmare. For some ramp in the deck, there was four copies of Overgrowth, which is for three, two, and a green. It enchants the land you control, and then whenever enchant land becomes tapped for mana, it produces an additional two green. So the land ends up tapping for three mana, ramping out really hard to be able to play stuff like the Nut Collector or the Deranged Hermit earlier in the game. Uh, two copies of Squirrel Wrangler, which is for four, two, and two green. It's a 2-2 two, two Druid with two, one and a green, sacrifice the land to put two 1-1 one, one green squirrel creature tokens into play. Or it's got for two, one and a green, sacrifice the land, all squirrels get plus one plus one until end of turn. Again, another way to anthem our creatures, another thing that can generate tokens. Two copies of Collective Unconsciousness, which is for six, four and two green. It's at sorcery speed. You draw a card for each creature you control. Being able to ramp into this with Overgrowth, uh, if we've got the token strat going off, we can ramp into the stuff that's going to help finish the game out. Acorn Harvest in a four of. A four, three, and a green. It's at sorcery speed. You put two 1-1 one, one green squirrel creature tokens into play. And it's got flashback. So you can play it from your graveyard after you've played it by paying two 1 and a green and paying three life. So at a six cost and three life, you end up with four tokens. It's not the best rate, but it added really well to the squirrel count in the deck. Four copies of Chatter of the Squirrel, which is one green. You put a 1-1 one, one green squirrel creature token into play, and then it's got flashback two. So one and a green. At three cost, you can get two tokens. Uh, not a horrible rate. Again, just adding to the squirrel synergy. Four copies of Squirrel Ness, which is for three, one, and two green. Enchant Land. Enchant Land has tap, put a 1-1 one, one green squirrel creature token into play. To this point, the deck looks pretty average in terms of everything's really expensive. You don't get that much value out of stuff. But then we add everything we've just seen with the next card, Earthcraft, which is for two, one, and a green. It's an enchantment with tap an untapped creature you control, untap target basic land. So what happens in the deck is we either enchant a land with the overgrowth, so every time the land taps for mana, it taps for three, or we enchant one of our forests with a squirrel nest, and then we just can go infinite with squirrel nest. Or if we've already got a lot of creatures and we haven't got the squirrel nest, we can ramp insanely hard. So we can go pay four, get two squirrels, tap one of the squirrels to untap it, tap add three, tap one of the squirrels to untap it, tap add three. We've got the six, play nut collector. As easy as it gets. As soon as Earthcraft comes out, this deck just goes balls to the wall, insane. Just combos off everywhere and seemingly out of nowhere. It's, yeah. <laughs> basically going for the two card combo here and then the backup plan or redundancy is just beat down with squirrels being able to ramp really hard into getting more squirrels getting more tokens playing out these big creatures that are really expensive and then just drawing a billion cards and then eventually drawing into the combo anyway uh it is kind of a glass cannon in terms of once we do get the infinite squirrels it stops if you board wipe them or if you stop them from being able to attack you. That's where it kind of just falls on its ass. So it was kind of a one trick pony, but holy shit, this deck was a whole lot of fun. Uh, four copies of Coat of an Arms just to finish off the deck. Uh, for five, it's an artifact that sits on the battlefield and it gives each creature you control plus one plus one for each other creature in play that shares a creature type with it. So obviously, if we're not playing against other stuff that's tribal, our squirrels are going to get really, really big, which means we're not going to care about Earthcraft and the squirrel nest combo. 
or just getting to the squirrel nest. If we've got Earthcraft and we've got that and we can ramp that out early, uh, we play a deranged hermit, those four squirrels come into play, they're already getting plus one, and then each one of them is going to give plus one for each other one. So four squirrels plus three to the other ones, and this is giving plus four at a five cost, as long as we've got a coat of arms out. And that's just two cards. If we have any of the Chatter of the Squirrels is our t like our usual turn one plays. Acorn Harvest gets played fairly early because of overgrowth. And yeah, that's the <laughs> that's the infinite squirrel combo deck uh, that I used to play against when I was in high school. Uh, it was an absolute nightmare, or uh, but it was always a lot of fun just watching it go off. Killing someone with squirrels was a seemingly fun way to do it. And yeah, this is the kind of stuff that I used to play against going through high school. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the deck. Another takeaway from um, these kitchen table decks is a lot of this stuff will be really, really good in EDH. Earthcraft, when I saw this card originally, uh, it was only like a $10 card. Now it's ridiculously expensive because it, uh, EDH is so popular and this kind of stuff uh, gets a lot easier to abuse. But Earthcraft, definitely worth having. I have seen this cu this combo specifically uh, pop up in uh, mono green decks or in just decks with green in them because of how good it is. Just seemingly coming out of nowhere. Two card combos are always good in EDH. But some of these cards are pretty good. And don't just write them off just because they're in a kitchen table deck. They might be good for EDH. And that is infinite mono green squirrels for kitchen table magic. Thanks for watching guys. As always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to see new videos as they were released. If you like what I do and you want to support the channel, you can throw me a dollar on my Patreon at patreon.com forward slash sandersquest. And I will see you guys in the next video. Keep questing guys.